Hello, today I'm going to be taking a look at the Ugreen 100 Watt GAN Fast Charger, which as the name suggests allow you to charge simultaneously four devices with a combined power of up to 100 watts. Let's take a closer look at the charger. Okay, we'll get it unboxed. So in the box we've got the charger itself, I'll give you a closer look at that in a minute, and then we've got some paperwork as well. So this is our charger, and as you can see it's reasonably compact. I've got the UK version, so it comes with a UK plug on it, but there is also a US and an EU version. Now the EU and the UK version, the plug itself is fixed, but if you get the US version, the plug actually folds in, making it even more compact for storage. Um, taking a look at the ports we've got, we've got three USB Type-C ports and a USB Type-A port, so we're going to be able to charge four devices at once. The charger is currently on sale on Amazon and it will set you back $79.99, both in the UK and the US. At the moment there does seem to be a voucher on Amazon which you can add to get an additional 20% off, so you're going to be paying just under £64 or $64 for the charger. So just before we take a closer look at the Ugreen charger, I thought it would be worth comparing size-wise to an existing charger to show you just how small and compact this is. So this is the 30 watt charger that comes with my 2021 MacBook Air, so it will charge one device at up to 30 watts. We've got a single USB-C connector. Um, this one here obviously has four connectors and will charge four devices simultaneously at up to 100 watts compared to this one device at 30 watts. Um, in terms of size, you can see this one is slightly larger and slightly heavier, but there's not that much of a difference between them. Um, in terms of pricing, Apple are going to looking for £49 for this, whereas as we mentioned, if you use the voucher on Amazon, you're going to pay just under £64 for this. So in terms of the value, um, providing the Ugreen charger does what it says it's going to do, um, you'd be absolutely crazy to buy one of these, but we're going to have to test it out and see that it actually do what it says it does. So before we start with the Ugreen charger, I just want to get a baseline reading with the MacBook Air charger. So if we plug the MacBook Air in, and we'll take a look at how many watts it's drawing. So we can see there we're getting around about 30.4 watts, so no surprise in 30 watt charger, the MacBook Air is drawing 30 watts. So if we plug into the first USB Type-C port in the Ugreen charger, and you can see here our MacBook is drawing 51.9 watts, so obviously it's going to charge much quicker with our Ugreen charger than it will using the standard Apple charger. Now if I move it down one port into port number two, we should hopefully get the same reading, because the top two ports are exactly the same. So there we go, we're getting a very similar reading in the top port. Now if you notice, if I plug this into our third USB-C port, and you'll notice now that our MacBook is drawing 23.2 watts, and the reason for this is that each of the four ports on this charger operates with a slightly different charging protocol and maximum power output. So the top two USB Type-C ports can provide up to 100 watts with one device plugged into them, while the bottom two ports will provide up to 22.5 watts with a single device plugged into it. So that's why we're getting a reading here similar to 22.5. Um, had we a more powerful MacBook that needed more power, we could get up to 100 watts using one device plugged in to the top two ports. And there's a really nice diagram that Ugreen include on their website, which is going to help you decide which port to plug your device into. The other important thing that the diagram shows is the plug will provide up to a maximum combined power of 100 watts. It's not 100 watts per port, and the more devices you plug in, obviously that is going to be shared over the different devices. And the diagram shows you how this power is split depending on how many more devices you actually plug in. Okay, next thing I want to test charging is an iPhone. So I've got an iPhone XS, and we've got the standard wall plug and cable. So we go ahead and plug in. You can see here we're drawing about 6 watts. Switching over to the Ugreen charger, and this time I'm using a USB Type-C to lightning cable. Um, you can see the iPhone is drawing around about 14 watts, so it's drawing over double the power, so it's going to charge significantly quicker. If we go down to the next port, Again, drawing a similar amount of power. And this time our third port is providing equal performance at 14 watts. As we said, this can provide up to 22.5 watts when only one device is plugged into it. Um, and we're not exceeding this with our iPhone, so we're getting very similar charging speeds. And then finally, using the standard USB-A to lightning cable that came with the iPhone, we're drawing around about 13 watts using the bottom USB Type-A port on the cable. 
So it's already fairly clear the Ugreen Fast Charger provides significantly more charging power to both my MacBook Air and my iPhone XS than the standard adapters that came with both these devices. But obviously this is marketed as being able to charge four devices at once, so let's test that out. So I'm going to plug my MacBook into the first port. So at the moment with one device plugged in, the top port is able to provide up to 100 watts. And as you can see, our MacBook isn't able to take all that power. If I go ahead and plug the iPhone into the second device, the power is then going to be split between the two ports. So the top port is limited to 65 watts. We weren't exceeding that, so I'm not expecting any reduction in charging power. And this port then is limited to 30 watts. And as our iPhone didn't exceed that, again, I'm not expecting the charging power to be reduced. So this is really what we're seeing with the MacBook drawing around about 50, 51, and the iPhone drawing around about sort of 12 to 14, as it had been doing before. So if I now plug my Apple Watch into the bottom Type-C port, it's now going to provide up to 22.5 watts of power, although the Apple Watch only draws a few watts of power. Um, that power is going to come from the top port, which is going to be reduced from 65 down to 45. So then if I plug my earbuds into the bottom USB Type-A port, our top two ports are going to stay on PD, 45 watts and 30 watts, whereas the bottom two are going to switch over to 5 volts, 2.1 amps. So you can see our Ugreen charger is charging all four devices without any difficulty. In terms of power draw, using the standard adapters, the earbuds were drawing up to 1.3 watts, um, and the Apple Watch was drawn up to a maximum of 2.3 watts. So very minimal power draw from these two devices, and most of it's coming from the MacBook and the iPhone. And this particular charger works really well for me because none of these devices are particularly power hungry. So I can charge all four of them with very minimal limitations. The MacBook is going to charge at slightly slower speed than if it was just plugged in by itself. Where I think this would cause you some problems if you had a really powerful MacBook that could actually draw the 100 watts. It would work really well if you just plugged it in to either the top two ports. The problems would start to come if you added in additional devices. So adding in one more device, your MacBook would be limited to only 65 watts. And plugging in two or three, the maximum charging power for the MacBook would be limited to 45 watts, which would be potentially less than half of what you would get with one device plugged in. Okay, so it's time to sum up, and I have been incredibly impressed with the Ugreen charger. It does exactly what they say it does. So for example, if your MacBook adapter was to break and you had a choice of paying £64 for this or £49 for this, I think you would be absolutely crazy to pay £49 for this, where this charger is going to charge at faster speeds and allow you to charge more than one device, whereas this one is only going to let you charge one device. The other big advantage of this particular charger is when you're traveling, instead of carrying these floor plugs about, you're just going to have to carry the one plug. So in terms of space saving, this is going to be great. Maybe the only downside would be if you already own all these plugs, is it really worth paying an extra £64 for the convenience of being able to plug them in to one adapter? And really only you can answer that yourself. Um, if you're somebody who was actually looking for an additional adapter because you want to leave some at home and take one in your bag and space is tight, then picking this up might be quite useful. And it's going to mean you can repurpose these for something else. And particularly now that a lot of devices are coming without plugs, um, if you're picking up something new, you might be having to pick up a plug anyway for your phone. So why not get an extra one that can charge your laptop and your headphones as well? Now, the only place I would see a downside to this is if your laptop is one of the power-hungry laptops that can use the full 100 watts, and you are wanting to use this to plug in more than one device at once. Um, actually, then you would be charging your laptop at a slower speed than using the standard power brick, because once you plug in any more than one device, the maximum power your laptop is going to be able to charge at goes down to 65 watts. When you plug in two additional devices, you're down to 45 watts, which is less than the 100 watts it could take by a factor of more than two. So that would be the only group of people I would say this wouldn't be a great purchase for if you need your laptop charging at those incredibly fast speeds, but you want to charge other devices at the same time. 
For me, because my devices are quite low powered, I was getting all the advantages and none of the disadvantages. So this is absolutely perfect for me. These four plugs are going to be no longer carried about in my bag. And I'm just going to be carrying this. So if you do want to find out more information about the Ugreen fast charger, you'll find the Amazon links in the description. And if you are going to pick this up, remember to use the Amazon voucher to get 20% off. Ugreen did mention they would send me a promo code. If that's any better than the 20% you're getting on Amazon, I'll put it in the description. If it's not, I'm not going to put it in, because you're much better getting that discount from Amazon. If you have found the video useful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.